Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to convert a color photograph to a black and white photograph using Capture One. Uh, so to start off with, I've selected this photograph and I'm going to go up over to the left side here and click on the Color tab. And uh, you may have already used this. Uh, uh, you have all your color tools and your white balance tools here. Well, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see um, black and white tab right here and it's uh, collapsed right now but if we click this little arrow and scroll down it will give us the conversion tab here now there's a lot that you can do once you convert over to black and white to interpret the photograph and change the contrast this is why I picked this particular photograph you'll see there are a lot of different colors in here and we'll see how that falls into play in a second so I'm gonna click enable black and white and uh, it's converted to black and white. Now you could stop here, uh, but you have some creative options here. For example, all of these uh, different um, color sliders here will lighten or darken the color, color that's listed here. So for example, up here is the sky, of course. And so if we take the blue slider and bring it down, you can see in this particular photograph, because of the color of the sky blue it really darkens it and that can be used to bring out uh, the clouds you can also use the cyan slider as well on the sky and depending on the color of the sky it will affect it more or less in this particular case you can see if we we bring the slider down on the blue because the there is blue in uh, some of the storefronts here it kind of darkens them too and it actually goes all the way to black in this Photograph, so that's pretty dramatic in this case. But if we use cyan, it actually brings out the contrast a little bit better in in this photograph because it uh, it doesn't affect uh, some of the buildings as radically as the blue does because of the color. So you have a lot of options using this. Uh, we can move the red slider around, and so. Um, so you can see that brightens this. So if we brought down the cyan, you notice this storefront's darkening, but we can actually bring up the red and bring contrast back into that. So it's really amazing what you can do with these different sliders. Now the other thing I want to bring your attention to, which is really cool, is split tones. And split tones will allow you to change the tonality of the highlights and the shadows differently. So instead of just having a neutral black, you can make it more towards a sepia tone or, or a selenium tone. So you can warm up the photograph and have, so it has warmer tones or cool it down or you can mix it. There's a, uh, when they used to do black and white, there was something called split toning where you could use different toners and they would act differently on the highlights and the shadow details. So you'd have a different color cast in the highlights and the shadows. And it was for effect. So what we need to do here first is bring up the saturation uh, so that we can see the effect. Now we can really exaggerate it or we can just do it very subtly like this. So uh, these are the highlights. So if we go over here and make the highlights, you can see we make them more blue. And we can take the saturation down or bring it up. So we can adjust that how we want. So let's bring the saturation up on, on, on the shadows. We've got like a red color here right now and so we can change the color so it's a little more brown and so you you can see that we actually if we bring the saturation down on the uh, highlights you can see the shadow details are now very warm but the highlights are blue so we've got this kind of split toning effect and it, it's almost can be like a pseudo colorization of the black and white photograph where um, you actually um, uh, bring some color back into the black and white photograph uh, and uh, you can do other effects from there of course so a lot of creative possibilities using the black and white conversion and the split tones and the color sensitivity control in uh, uh, capture one the color sensitivity is this right here where we can you know, change the brightness or the darkness of the colors in the black and white photograph. I'm Dean and this is Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.